If you love America, you love the workers. And if you love American workers, you don't ship their jobs to desperate people in Mexico and pay them 90 cents an hour. In the middle of a pandemic, legitimately, you are heroes and heroines, right? You, you are feeding America. And it is just outrageous to me that the company responds to your sacrifices by saying, you know, we're taking your jobs to Mexico. We're going to have younger workers coming in at lower wages and benefits while they give their CEO $12 million a year, I guess. Everyone is sick and tired of working every single waking moment of their life. I'm tired. We're all tired. You know who's not tired? That building over there. They're not tired of us working seven days a week, 12, 16-hour days. You know, they do. They have half-day half Fridays over there. Senator, hey, how, how are you? Good to see you again, Dad. What's going on here is, in fact, going on all over the country. And I think people all over America are looking at you and saying, thank you for having the guts to stand up for working people. I won't be silenced when our union brothers and sisters, a third of us, make a third less and taking less benefits than what we ourselves take. Is that understood that, that they used to treat people better? Yeah, I mean, I've tried to hammer that through. Yeah. You got a dad or mom working here? Uh, it's my grandfather. Grandfather, okay, good. A lot of the country is looking at what you're doing and admiring your willingness to stand up to corporate greed. So, thank you very much. Oh, do you work at Kellogg's? No. Do you make cereal? <laughs> <laughs> my grandfather stood out on strike the last time Kellogg's was on strike in 1972. And now my husband is out here. My daughter has worked for this company. This is not just a job to most of these people. Um, you know, well, that makes what they're doing even uglier. Yeah.